Melinda Emerson. I'm the president of Quintessence Multimedia. We're a strategic communications and social media marketing firm based in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I would say the biggest mistake I made when I first started my business is I tried to chase everybody that I thought had money as opposed to having a really specific niche target customer. When I got niche focused in my business, my business took off. But I wasted three years chasing all kinds of crazy stuff instead of really focusing on a specific vertical for business. And I think a lot of small business owners make that mistake. There's two things you have in business, limited time and limited resources. So focus on a target customer so you can focus your marketing efforts. The biggest failures that I had in my business had to do with when things broke down, you know, managing conflict not so well. And I think that when you're a really young entrepreneur, sometimes you can have a chip on your shoulder. Sometimes you can take everything personal, and that's really not the way you should handle things. You know, you shouldn't make decisions when you're angry. You shouldn't make decisions when you're tired. You shouldn't make decisions when you're lonely. You shouldn't make decisions when you're hungry. You know, you need to think clearly about how you speak to people and how you communicate what your needs and wants are and think about things always in terms of win-win. If you do that, you can't go wrong in business. If you're thinking about starting a business, the first thing you should do is develop a life plan before you ever write a business plan. You need to figure out what you want out of life and then figure out if that a business aligns with those goals. The second thing you got to think about is can you financially afford to quit your job to start a business? Look, it takes 18 to 24 months for a small business to break even, let alone replace your corporate salary. So it's really important that you understand financially where you are before you launch into a new business. Thirdly, you've got to really evaluate what skills you have and then what skills you need to run your particular kind of business. Fourth, you really need to know who that paying customer is. There's no sense of being out here chasing every ambulance you think going down the street has money hanging out of the back. You better know who your paying customer is and how you're going to stand out in the marketplace because the world does not need yet another graphic design firm. You better get specific about it. Then you really do need to write a business plan. You need to figure out how you're going to, how is your business going to run. You've got to take the time to think about that. And then lastly, I suggest you start your business while you're still working if you can. Be a side hustler and then take the time, at least 12 months to kind of run that business because you can learn a lot of lessons on somebody else's time while you're still getting paychecks and health insurance. And that's a really great way to learn and not put yourself or your family in complete financial peril. If you're serious about starting a small business, just do your homework, do your research, make sure there's a market, spend time working your network. You know, your network is your net worth when you start out in business because people do business with people that they like, know, and trust. So you want to make sure that you have a strong network as you're going into business. If you do those things, you can't go wrong.